Hello everybody and welcome back to Beyond a Steel Sky. Um, this is the second episode. We are doing okay. We've just started. We have a couple of leads that we can follow up on. Let's see. Um... No, there isn't really like a like a missions type thing. We're just kind of going. So I'm going to start by having a chat over here. How can I help? Can I talk, please? Excuse me. Greetings, registered camp lander. Say that again, would you? A registered camp lander. Thanks. Wasn't so hard, was it? See, I knew that um, she wouldn't talk to me until I got registered. Um, and for some reason, I just completely didn't come back to talk to her. So, it's the first thing I'm doing. I need to find a vehicle. There are no personal vehicles in Union City. No, it's one that I followed here from across the desert. It's got four giant metal legs. There are no such vehicles registered with Union City. Oh yeah? It definitely came this way. Kidnapped a child from my village. Only Union City citizens can file missing persons reports. Okay. Okay. I'm looking for a young boy that's been kidnapped. Don't worry, we'll find him. Is he a citizen? No, he's a Gaplander. Ah, uh, well, unregistered Gaplanders cannot enter Union City. Therefore, I cannot help. Okay. What do you do, 2CU? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. I supervise this area and guide prospective citizens through the registration process. Well, you're clearly excellent at your job. Why, thank you. I'm the latest model, you know. All right, so she's no help. Was great meeting you. It was worth a try. You never know how these things are going to work. So, um, I'm not going to kind of go over everything that's happened. Um, yes, this is a retro weekend. And yes, um, this is a modern game. It only came out a couple of months ago, I think. Um, but it is the sequel to a game from the 90s. So, if you actually want to know then uh, go back and check my other videos because I did play uh, beneath, I did play all the way through Beneath the Steel Sky now we need to get rid of them in order to get in there the man over there told us how to get in there but I feel like I'm going to forget um, there is a bird somewhere um, that has a special device that we need to get. Why is he now obsessed? Hey, Pixel. With this tree. How can I help? Oh, there's nothing See new. Around. Okay, fine. Okay, I'll go. Okay, I'm not sure why he's obsessed with that tree. Um, but there is a one of these birds has got a blue head. He has a device that this girl dropped, and I need to get it back. I don't know where he is. I'm sure he'll turn up eventually. However, that kid I just spoke to has a brother. And the brother is currently hiding because he saw the vehicle we're here for. So... Voxel was hiding out in the makeshift den. Hello, Voxel. Shh. What? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. Um... Um, I wanted to ask you if you've seen any monsters. <laughs> How do you know about the monster? Okay. Truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster across the desert for days. I think he came through here. And I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Um, I saw it. Can you describe it? 
It was big and beasty, and it eats children, and I could hear the screaming, and it was fast and dark and silent. Slow down, one thing at a time. It was big, like a giant dog. A giant dog? That sounds like what I'm after. Did you see any children? No, but I heard them. I heard kids crying inside its tummy. And where did it go? It sneaked off into the city. After that, I got in here. No way am I gonna let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? Wow. Did you say you heard kids crying from inside the dog? I think so. Sure sounded like that. Any ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you gonna go in there and kill it? Sure am. That's what monster hunters do best. Then I'm gonna bring Milo and the other children back out. You will? Oh, you better take this. Thanks. What is it? A firecracker. I was gonna use it to kill the monster. But you can have it. What do I do with this firecracker? I don't know. Throw it at the monster. But cover your ears. Bye. Hey, you got anything to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, I could keep an eye out. Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. He doesn't usually know that, though. Ah, understood. Voxel's giant dog sounded a lot like the stalker that had taken Milo. Now I was sure that the stalker had entered the city. There had to be a way in through the main gates. Right. But now he wants food, and I know I can't get past these guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to try using this. Won't let me. I can use my crowbar and the firecracker. That's what I was hoping. Because I can probably use the firecracker to get rid of these and then give whatever food is in there to the kid and to tempt out the big guy. What I think is going to happen, this is me projecting what I think is going to happen. It's the first playthrough, never played this before. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get in unless I can get the device. Because the device was taking the identity of the dead guy the girl found. And I think that identity is going to get me in. I mean, how did I light it? There they go. So, do the door ritual. Let's do the door ritual. So you've got to hit the bumper. Right. Hit the bumper. Then it was a jig. These were not my best moves. Hey, look at that. I learned it first time. So now I've got one mini case. I can give it to the kid. I haven't seen the other... I haven't seen the other bird yet. Um, but I think I'm going to need to give that other bird one of these. But let's um, give this kid this... Um, if I have Me to talk, again. I'll talk. Can we talk some more? Hi. Ah, oh, okay. Thanks, Voxel. I know what he wants now. Um, I'll show you. Yet again, it involves me getting the ID. There's a sandwich right there. But the door won't let me in. Authorized citizen ID required. So I'm going to have to find the one. The bird that has the blue head. 
However, I haven't used this yet. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Welcome to Union City. My name is Greta. It is my duty and pleasure to answer any questions you may have about Union City and the local area. How may I help you today? I need to get into the city. Easily done, sir. Just drive your vehicle across the bridge and the gates will open up for you. My vehicle? Yes, your vehicle. You do have a vehicle, don't you? What if I don't? Well, you're about five years too late. This is a vehicle entrance now. Freight only, I'm afraid. Anything else I can help with today? I'm looking for a vehicle. Has anything come through here? No. You haven't seen a weird vehicle with legs instead of wheels? Polite apology. I cannot discuss the details of other visitors' vehicular movements. But this vehicle, it kidnapped a child. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yeah, it feels like she's nice pretty day. not gonna... In Union City, sir, there is no other kind of day. Yeah, that's pointless. Oh, I feel like maybe we've got to fix that. I don't know. Let's have a word with the technician. Excuse me. Oh, hello, visitor. What's up with your bollard? Maybe I can help. <laughs> you? Sure. Hey, listen, Mr. Gaflander. It's totally cute that you want to help. But this mechanism is a teeny bit more advanced than what you're used to. You'd be surprised. I'm pretty handy with these sorts of things. Sorry, got to get back to this bollard. It ain't gonna fix itself. All right, so he's being. One of the posts was jammed. Can I, I just called repair upon it? my extensive background in engineering? Hey, we fixed it. <laughs> we. Yeah, piece of cake. Dude, council sure is shining in my direction today. Do you know how many times I've scanned this thing? The last scan must have done the trick. You see, I'm the diagnostician and tech expert around here. Name's Hobsworth. What can I do for you? This may sound like a stupid question, but how do I actually get into the city? Well, first thing would be to head over to the city gates. Uh, yes. If you got a valid ID, and just scan your U chip, and the bridge will open. Valid for what? Now that is a stupid question. You need a vehicle to get through the big doors there. If you have transport clearance, like that old fella with the smelly truck, you just drive up, scan your ID, and roll right onto the elevator down to the cargo bay. I'm looking for a vehicle that might have passed this way. What kind of vehicle? Maybe I can help. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I know it has four giant legs. Legs? <laughs> Word to the wise man. Vehicles have wheels. Whoa. That doesn't sound like any vehicle I've ever heard of. And I've got more magazines under my bed than you can even imagine. Okay, so no one's seen that. Um... How are things going with Wendell's power cell? It's in my office. But how long until it's charged? Uh, it's hard to say, but it's on my list. Right, so if I can get in there, then I can um, get the power cell as well. Tell me about Joey. Praise Joey. Not a day goes by where I don't thank him for the happiness and prosperity he brought to Union City. Joey and I go way back. We must be talking about the same one. Well, it depends. Our Joey was kind, benevolent, generous, firm, resolute, moral, was magnanimous, proactive, and a friend to all citizens alike. 
purple head. Does that sound like your Joey? That's a purple head. Look at him. He's got it in his mouth. My Joey was more of a sarcastic pain in the... But he was my best friend. Now, I have a problem with this. How many people remember right at the end of the game? It's only two weeks ago. When we changed his name... And we were no longer calling him Joey. They've just chosen to ignore the ending of the game for some reason. It's a very weird choice. About this missing kid. Dude, word of advice, huh? Since you're new here? Okay. Look, maybe kidnapping is the sort of thing you people do in the gap. But this is Union City, man. We're a proper society. Gotcha. Thanks. See you around, Hobbs. Alright, well that's done. Oh, before I forget, I really appreciate your patience back there when I was fixing the bridge. Let me thank you properly. Give me your hand. Uh, okay. There you go. Your kudos just got a boost. Thanks, I think. Keep a smile on your face. Okay. I'm not 100% sure what that did, but... I need to get the thing back. I can see him. There he is. I'm not going to run, because I know that might scare him off. Um. Oh, come on. Okay, can I lure him? Come on, big fella. Okay, that worked. Bird's beak looked especially vicious. The bird's beak looked especially vicious. So where would I lure him? I wonder. Ah, oh, okay. So, didn't work. Hmm. Okay, so I can lure him. Yeah, so this is as far as we've got now. I don't know what the kud the extra kudos is going to do. Um, let's see. Apologies, but you have exceeded your Spangles allowance. Okay. The one can a day limit didn't exactly support a thirst for spankles. And so my kudos history is now a C plus, I think that's gone up. I don't remember it being yellow. It's now a C plus. Again, I'm assuming that's gonna be like a grading thing. Um, but there's now very little that I can do. I need that device because I feel like the device gets me in. Is there anything in here? Because I didn't really look in. No, you can't look in the bin. I think I need to get the kudos device. I need to get the device because then I might be able to get a person's um, ID, which will get me into the into there, which will give me the power unit for him and the food for the kid so that's what I need to do so let's get another one of these alright so apparently I actually have uh, a whole pack of these sausages there he is alright um, one particularly large and familiar bird stood out from the rest so, I can lure him. I could have had he not have walked away.
Come on, big fella. Um, so I can put it on the ground. But when I walked up to him, I couldn't get the thing out of his mouth. Bird's beak looked especially vicious. Okay. What happens? These were tough desert birds. Waving a crowbar around wouldn't phase them. I can't really can't use anything else okay well let's just make sure because I haven't tested this the bridge seemed to be operated by some sort of hand scanner error insufficient permission citizen ID required yeah I do need it Something strange about the water, and there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Up close, I could see the water was holographically concealing an electric fence. Okay. There was an electric fence back there. I wondered if it was live. Ow! I was shocked to discover that it was. No wonder the gang gangs kept clear of this death trap. Hello everyone. So, um, I've tried a couple of things. I'm going to cut them out because they're all pointless. Just me wandering around doing nothing. Then I noticed that when I came close to this waterfall, um, it told me there was an electric fence behind it. And when I looked at, when I touched the fence, I got shot. And he said that's probably why the birds aren't coming anywhere near it. So I think I've got to lure, I like the way I said that, allure this boyd, throw it into the uh, into Come the waterfall on, maybe. So that's what I'm going to try now. I can throw it on the ground there. I'll throw it into the electric fence. There you go. I did it. It's about 10 minutes of walking nonsense. At one point, I genuinely used the, the mini case to lure every single bird. So they were all following me. Right, now let's talk to her. Where is she? She was over here last time I saw her. There she is. Is that her? That looks like her. So let's see if we just give it back to her. So this deed, pretty valuable, huh? Oh, it's only a fundamental part of my enterprise. And the ID that's on it? You bet. That's a citizen's ID. And that would grant access into the city? You're a sharp one, ain't ya? Guess what I just found. A lot of nerve coming back here. Nope. This. What? My deed? I'll have that. Sure, but how about I give you the deed in exchange for the citizen ID that's on it? the date for the ID, but... You wouldn't have it back if it weren't for me. It wouldn't have been stolen if it weren't for you. So we're even. <sighs> I suppose that's sort of fair. Excellent. When do we start? 
Have you got a U-chip? Yes. My hand is still stinging. Right then. Let's get this over with, yeah? Pass me back my deed, hmm? Follow me over to my workbench. Okay, I know the workbench, yeah, it's over here. Yeah, so then this, in theory, will give me access to the sand wedge. Which I can give to the kid. Which, I don't know if it will get me into the, uh... If it's any help, but I'm, I want to give him food either way. Um, and it will give me access to the power unit for the guy's truck, which I need um, him to open the actual bridge for me. A makeshift workbench had been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over-reliant on some old deflated tires. All right. Hey, Ember. You ready to do this? I'm not entirely sure what this is. Oh, you want that citizen's ID, right? Yeah. What do I need to do? Cool. Just place your hand flat on the U-chip scanner. Over here on my workbench. Uh, like this? Yeah, good enough. Let me just line up the laser. Oi, keep your hand still or you'll lose it. Uh, is this gonna hurt? No more than getting the chip installed in the first place. Right, just transferring the ID now. You may feel a slight pinch. What was that? That wasn't supposed to happen? There it is again. Must be... Nothing. Must be nothing. Looks like his name was Graham. A fun, upstanding citizen. <laughs> Graham. Got it. Good luck, citizen Graham. At last I had a citizen ID. I hoped that this was going to be my key to getting into the city. Yeah, it should be. However, there was an awful lot of interaction that I had to then do to get that to happen. Um, I had to say yes, that I wanted it done. I had to interact with the actual um, the, the, the device itself. It's like, just just make it one animation. I get that it, it kind of cuts the animations up, but I just... Yeah, just come on. <laughs> right, so we'll grab that first. There's the power cell. The power cell was completely wrecked. Can't do anything other than examine it. Let's use. Let's see what it says. The console seemed specialized. Alright, so it doesn't actually just kind of turns it on and off. Power cell was completely wrecked. Okay, I mean, there's nothing really else here. All right, well, let's give him his sandwich and see what what, what I get for that, if anything. Oh, not quite close enough. I'll go all the way back round. Me again. Can we talk some more? Hi. Food delivery for Mr. Voxel. Oh, yes. One of Hobsworth's city sangers. Do you want my crusts? You eat them. Warriors need their strength. Thanks, Voxel. There you go. Doesn't do anything, but... Ah, oh, hello. I think he came in because... 
The fan was turned off. By the sound of things, Hobsworth was hard at work. I decided not to interrupt him. Okay, so what? Because I've taken the sandwich, he's now working on it? Okay, let's leave him there for a bit. I <laughs> got electrocuted. Excuse me. Well, hey there, stranger. How's your day going so far? Well, I... Great, I'll bet. Anything old Hobsworth can do for you? By the way, just so you know, I'm on the clock. Yes, of course. No problem. Wendell's power cell wasn't looking too functional. Oh, man. You saw, huh? I don't think it's supposed to smoke like that. Not conventionally, no. Listen, don't tell Wendell. I'll fix it. See you around, Hobsworth. Keep a smile on your face. Alright, so now do I have to tell him because then maybe he'll report him hey Wendell I need to get those doors open all right just about did you uh, do the jig sure did you said it was essential that's right although here's a funny thing my wife never does the jig back at the farm but it always seems to open for her. Anyway, what can I do for you? Mind if I take a look at the power cell? I'm pretty handy with this sort of stuff. Hobsworth has it. Told me he'd have it charged in a jiffy. I had this sinking feeling that the wrecked power cell in Hobsworth's hut was the one that Wendell hoped would power his truck. Let me guess. Was that a while ago? Okay, um, right, so I'm at a point now where I need to fix this power cell. I don't really have much. The power cell was completely but you won't say anything more. I'm going to turn the fan on. I can turn the fan off. Other than that, oh, didn't see that scanner on the wall. Okay. The power cell was completely. So I can't wrecked. use the scanner on it. Okay, that's it's weird. I feel like I might have to find something that has the same kind of power cell then, maybe? Oh, I don't know why I have a scanner. Alright, so that's where I'm going to leave it for today. So thank you so much for watching. Um, there's not much to do. I might want to speak to Ember about the firmware on my chip. But I don't think she's going to do much for it. I need to fix the power cell that's in this building. And um, I have a scanner, which I can't seem to use anywhere, but I have it. So I need to work out what that's for too. So uh, this has been Beyond a Steel Sky. It is Retro Weekend. Um, there will be a sieve tomorrow. Um, I haven't done it for a couple of weeks, but there's definitely going to be one tomorrow. So tune in for that. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.